Happy Friday. Welcome to Meet the Press Now. I'm Chuck Todd reporting from Washington, where we're going to begin today with one question we expect most Americans don't want to hear. Are you ready to do to, for a do-over of the 2020 presidential election? Because right now, all signs are pointing to a Biden-Trump rematch for the presidency again in 2024. You have a new Wall Street Journal poll out this morning, which shows Trump has completely turned the tables on his closest likely Republican primary opponent, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Trump has transformed what they had claimed to be a 14-point deficit uh, against DeSantis in December into a 13-point lead in April. Now, we can question whether that initial poll that showed DeSantis ahead was accurate then, but the movement is clear. This week, Trump has also run up the score on endorsements from DeSantis's home turf in Florida. DeSantis has just one, one member of the Florida congressional delegation on the Republican side of the aisle endorsing him. Donald Trump the man born in Queens has 11. As for the Democratic side, sources tell NBC News that President Biden is expected to make his re-election bid official next week. Perhaps it'll be done via video message as soon as Tuesday, which would be the fourth anniversary of his 2020 announcement. An official Biden announcement is likely to be the last thing necessary to scare off any legitimate primary challengers. He's got a couple of gadflies running against him. But still, the president is dealing with extraordinarily weak poll numbers and intensifying scrutiny into his family. Two sources tell NBC News that federal prosecutors have considered four possible criminal charges against the president's son, Hunter, tied to his taxes and a purchase of a gun. All of this comes as an IRS special agent is now seeking whistleblower protections tied to allegations that this whistleblower claims may have been political interference in the investigation into Hunter Biden. Biden, we will have more on that allegation in just a moment. But let's take the bigger question here. A Biden-Trump rematch in 2024, what's, a, what's that election going to be? Will it look like 2020, when Joe Biden rode anti-Trump sentiment to victory? Or will it look like 2016, when Trump, despite all of his obvious warts and flaws, capitalized on an historically weak Democratic opponent? Check this out. We dug into our NBC News polling archives. Joe Biden's favorability numbers right now are pretty much in line with where Hillary Clinton's were at the dawn of her unsuccessful 2016 campaign. But right now, they're actually in better shape than when Biden started out last time around. Of course, the difference is Clinton's numbers went down throughout her campaign as it progressed. Biden's numbers went up as his campaign progressed. That 41% favorable rating that he has right now he's, is about the same place that Hillary Clinton ended up in in 2016 after months of attacks on Benghazi and her private email server. If President Biden faces an onslaught over Hunter Biden, perhaps, are his numbers going to slip even more? Or will Donald Trump's plethora of legal troubles and memories of the last eight years level things out? Regardless, both Trump and Biden are less popular now than either one of them were around Election Day 2020. And yet both parties seem focused on nominating both men. Biden banked on high turnout numbers to edge Trump last time around. But the risk facing the White House this time is if Americans are being served a rerun that they didn't love the first time, will they just change the channel and stay home this time? Here's the big takeaway. Unpopular candidates lead to unpredictable outcomes. And right now, both Biden and Trump are extraordinarily unpopular. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.